We are in Hachi, the ninth Mita, which is Vesashtos Him Sulais Yom Kol It's um, very, very uh, complex and fundamental as to uh, how to understand this. Read it again quickly. Let's uh, re-explain re what we learned last week. Zubi da toiva la kadosh baruch hu sashlich from tzul esyam kol chatosa chatosa. Our reference to this is what we do on Rosh Hashanah. The tashlich take uh, some bread or something and throw it into the water. Uh, what's what's the purpose of that? Tshuva, it's not. We're going through a shadow, we're going through Asar Shibay Tshuva, we're going through Yom Kippur. So, like, you could have right there, right? Like, you know, like, what, what am I doing? It's like some kind of a symbolic thing which doesn't seem to accomplish uh, much. So, it's a symbolic. If it's symbolic, what is it symbolic of? What's, what's the symbolism of it? And it's Makar is from something that Akadosh Baruch Hu does of the Sashlach Vim Tzulais Yom Kol Chatoisam, that he takes her Chatoyim. And he throws them into the sea. Kibyach. Zubida Toivala Kanish Barhu. And it means as follows, Shara Yisrael Khatu. In the case, the Kla Yisrael. And here he's talking about Kla Yisrael as a nation. If Kla Yisrael does a chet, if they chet, if they like in Bitrai, the whole Kla Yisrael did chet. In the, the Purim time. The whole Kla Yisrael did chet. It was a culture. So all these things are culture. Chorban Bayis Risha, Chorban Bayis Shedi, Chet Aklal. So, Mesara Biyad Paro, and Kodesh Baruch Hu, as an Odesh, presumably, puts us in the hands of Paro, Meshavu Meshuvah, we do Tshuva. It took a couple hundred years, I guess, for us to get it, but then we got it, and we did Tshuva. So, we do a Chet, Paro comes out to the sea. Eventually, it's Ba'irer us all, it might have been a couple of Paros, until it was Ba'irer us all to do Tshuva. And then we did Tshuva. Now, what happens to Paro? Lama Yadish Paro. We find Paro got an Odesh for being Batsar and Klai Yisrael. We created Paro. Uh, Paro was, not just was he a Shliach Hashem, but he was a creation of. Of the Jewish people, if, if there would have never been chatoyim, there would have never been paro or haman or nebuchadnezzar or anything, or any type of yisur. So whether it's on the on the klal or it's on the prat, so lava yadish paro. Why should paro get an oydish? Not not only is the question like did he did he have bechira chavshes? Did he not have bechira chavshes? That's a sorry. That's already so good. The rabba. Did he have a choice? Did he not have a choice? Did he go, you know, by Yiksha Hashem is Leif Paroi? But besides for that, if you look at it a little bit deeper, had there not been a Chet, there, there would not have been a Paro. Maybe there was other Rishayim, other places in the world that we didn't even know of at the time. What's a Nogeya? What's a Nogeya us? But Paroi was created by us, and Paroi did his job, he accomplished his goal, of, or Hashem's goal of getting us to do tshuva. So, lava yadish pari, v'chein san cher, v'chein hamad. Hamad doesn't only get punished, but he gets punished today. Gmulei al the, the same, the same oidish uh, that he wanted to give. Mordechai, that's what he received. <coughs> okay, it was the same thing. Wait. It's too close to look at it historically, but uh, but same thing. So I mean, but nobody's gonna. I mean, we're we're our arts feel all the time is Yivach Shabbai V'Zichra, but it was actually according to this line of reasoning that's too close to look at. But in the, uh, Persia is easy. Though. <laughs> it was it was a chet. So the answer is Ain Akadosh Baruch Hu misnachet bilvan loimer shavu b'tshuva. You can lo yela have odra. If Akadosh Baruch Hu would say, 
Look, do tshuva, and the ra will go away. If it's just a question of we were supposed to do tshuva, and then the tshuva, we did tshuva, so now habon poof disappears. We did tshuva. It's, it's over. Like the, you know, the dentist removes drill from tooth. Job is done. Like it's a, but Zeloyaspik, that's not enough. I have to destroy the whole drill here. <laughs> Haman has to get a punishment for this. And the reason for this, and I explained this, I'm going to go over it again briefly, but we explained this by Rufus the other day. This comes from the side of Vinasa Hasair Allah as Kalava Noisam al Eretz Kazera. That we find this ritual on Yom Kippur, which is also Hafla Vifela, that's something that we can't do these days. And that is that the Koyeg takes the Tusi Irim, he marks one La Shem, one La Azazel. La Shem is a carbon, La Azazel is also a form of a carbon, but the, a much more interesting one that he says an elaborate vidui on behalf of Klai Yisrael puts on the, uh, next to the soyer, and then it somehow or another transfers the Averos of Klai Yisrael onto the soyer and throws them off a cliff. <laughs> so what are we doing tshuva for? Is that, what, what is, so now let's, let's make the connection between throwing bread into the water and throwing goats off of mountains and what, what, What's the Mapirusha Shodvar? We have to do tshuva. We have to, but but yet we're we're doing something else besides for the tshuva. We're doing something else. We're we're taking the soyer and we're we're throwing it off the mountains. We do a chet. See, in, in other religions, this works. You know, uh, he's the carbon. He's dying for our sins. <laughs> Doesn't work with us. <laughs> dying is a terrain. <laughs> but but is that what, it, what is? How does it somehow? How does it remove our sins? What's the? Uh, although there is such a bechina of which maybe we need to understand of of sadikim, of mischaprim, of hador. <laughs> so we can do shuva, shuva. Kapara is different. That's that's the that's the answer. Kapara is different. Probably just misunderstood by the nations of the world. So let's understand as follows: um, uh, two steps to catch us up. Number one is um, and this is really what he's going to explain that when a person does a chet, so when you do a chet, so there's really two things that have taken place. And this is what we have to do. This is very real. This is very real. A person does a chet, there's two things that happen. One thing that happens is the pagab of the chet. I did a chet. Choose your avera. Uh, person uh, eats the wrong thing, speaks the wrong thing, hates the wrong pe person has an affair. You know, <coughs> have an affair, it's a chet. A person who has to show up, have an affair, is a chet. You violated a relationship, and it's a chet. But besides for that, there's, a, um, there's something else that happens, which is possibly even worse than the chet. And that is the, 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 the residual effect of what you've done. In the case of, 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 of somebody having an affair, it's very clear because there's a wife that's telling you what the residual effect of the chet is. The residual of the effect, like, I can never trust you, and what is it, you know, deep down about our relationship that has caused such a thing, and how could you, and so you, you could shoot the lady, <laughs> you could shoot the mistress, but you, you haven't taken away 
and he can even do a genuine tshuva, but to hide like, I really have charata for doing that, whatever the, 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 the seder of tshuva is, you know, charata ala avar, even kabbalah ala asin, vitoi, hakol b'seder, aval, like what's, what's, somebody kills somebody. Okay, you, you could do, you could go through the whole tshuva process, but for it, you, you killed somebody. Like we have to understand that the, the person is a uh, is a killer. So there's like a there's like a secondary uh, aspect to chet. And, and I believe in Chazal, the words of Chazal, uh, the way that Mishnah mm-hmm. says it in Pirkei Avos, that uh, in Parak Dalad, that Ha'Oise, the Velozer Ben Yaakov Ober. Aosa mitzvah achas, kodolo praklit achas. Oivra veira achas, kodolo kategor echad. A kategor, uh, so you, uh, it, it conjures up an image that in Shabbayim there's a whole uh, diyut about my avera, and now I've got a, a prosecutor and a defendant, and it's a whole gazach going on over here, like which I am possibly even oblivious to. Or, you can learn that this is this is right here um, in this world, or what I'd like to be mechadish today, right here in this person. There is now a kategor that has been created. So we'll get to the in the person for a second. But let's just take it out of Shabbat for a moment. Uh, the, the the way the the Abarvidal says pshat alavakov and the Vishta is that, and we find this in Chazal a number of times that with a different lashon than a kategor. Is we, we create a bashkis. Here's a bashkis. Let's let's look at it as a, some type of a uh, a destructive balach. So we do an avera. Besides for the avera, gufa, there's some kind of a bashkis that was created. Balachim in this world are here to <coughs> carry out Hakadosh Baruch Hu's so, so whenever we do a mitzvah, we've created something good, something positive in this world. Who knows what it's going to do to us, to other people? Because something wonderful could happen. I do a mitzvah. But the person does an avera, so you created this bashkas. So let's just get the loveness, and then we'll get the, uh, or, the or let's say the mechanics, and then we'll get the loveness. So the mechanics is that there's two things that happen, two did it. Um, tshuva takes care of the avera, but it doesn't take care of the bashkas. The bashkis is still there. You created a bashkis. The bashkis is still there. Right? I, I, let, me, let me give a, a harsh example of this, just so that we're, we're crystal clear. Let's say a person raises a kid all wrong, and you've created a criminal. So, let's say you realize you made a mistake. If it's a mistake, I'm, not, I'm just giving a harsh example. You do tshuva. However, the kid blind. <laughs> the, the, you still, you still have the, the problem. Is still. So there, there's this residual effect of doing something wrong, whether it's of a personal error, of error to my, uh, somebody who trusts me, my husband, my wife, family. It's hard to, it's hard to fix that. That second part of the avera is hard, much harder to fix than the avera itself if possible at all. Look at all the scandals that are out there. It could be this chuva, but it's, it's, it's hard to fix the the the, and the, 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 the lack of trust forever and the, 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 the negative the negative adjustment that it made to the whole Kla Yisrael, not just in terms of image, but in reality, like our whole Ashkafa changes. It's very difficult. So so it could be this chuva, I mean the chuva. We believe in tshuva. It could be ad kach tshuva. If we know that a person did tshuva, we should be makabal the person back. But the damage is the damage. So that damage is called the bashkis. That's the bashkis that was created by the avera. Is there something where it's, <coughs> it's an omission? If, for example, you decide one day we're going to put on to filling. So that day you didn't put on to filling. Did you create a bashkis by the omission of the mitzvah? So there's some, such a thing in halacha as a... Uh, uh, you know, bevatol mitzvah, bevatol essay, or less so, but yes, uh, yes. So, 
Avera is clearly going, Madrega is, and there's different oitshim, but every time you do an Avera, there's some type of a negative energy that's happening. It's that negative energy, we'll try to explain this, it's not, I don't think it's so simple, but it's that, it's that negative energy that's getting thrown into the water and getting thrown off the bow. In other words, the siyata de shmaya over here is not that it'll forgive by uh, sin. That a person has to do yourself. That shuva a person has to do. The question is, what's going to be with the bashkas? What are we going to do with the bashkas? And here is where HaKadosh Baruch Hu can help. But this is more miraculous than the, than the, than the Indian of shuva itself. That uh, there's the Indian of the bashkas that what we can understand, ironically, is at least on a spiritual level, as long as we think it's something spiritual, some kind of spiritual energy, we can understand that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, uh, is, is throwing it off the mountain top, or telling us to throw it off the mountain. <coughs> it's a little bit more difficult when we talk about the, the realities of life, with, uh, as, as we say, the scandals, like where, where's the mountain, where's the goat, and how do we get rid of this thing? It's like really... Uh, if Hashem did it, why do we need to do Tashlich? We don't trust that he did it good enough? Or? Why do we do Tashlich? Yeah, why do we well, do we're tashlich? always emulating yeah. Hashem. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, so, so that's, but that's an excellent question. Actually, yeah, I, uh, actually a segue to what I'm, I, I, I want to bring out here. That uh, so much deeper than the mechanics is the, is the previous stuff. And I spoke about it maybe in the second Vita. That the, the Chazal say, who, that there's three, there's three negative energies in this world. I mean, there's more, but three that we, we talk about a lot. There's the Eight Sahara. There's a Sutton, which gets a lot of press. Even though nobody knows exactly what it is. But there's the Malach Habavas, which we do know what it is. So we, we're all familiar with the Eight Sahara, the Malach Habavas. Sutton's a little bit more complicated. The, the, the Gemara says on this, that don't divide it into three. Who Yetzahara, who Hasat, who Malach Habavas. So I'll say, say Badit. <laughs> Although, it's, it's Yetzahara is one thing, and Malach is a different thing. What's the, who Yetzahara, who Hasat, who Malach Habavas. It's all one, one thing, because don't fool yourself. It's all one thing. How's it one thing? So the Baral explains, and I think it's Pashim Shat. I, 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 I mentioned this a couple of months ago, I think. That the the, the shot is that the Yitzhahara is out there. The, the world is full of Yitzhahara. A person walks the world, there's temptations, there's all kinds of. I'm not talking about things that are not shaykh to us. Uh, not shaykh to us is not a temptation, but there are things that are shaykh to us, things that we can do wrong if we want to. Um, and the, so there's Yitzhahara, which is far away, there's Yitzhahara, which is quite close, but it's close, it's not here. So I, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that, maybe I should steal this, maybe I should lie here, maybe I should uh, say this, look at this, there are all kinds of Yitzhahara or something. But I hold them a bank, for the most part. We hold them all somewhat at arm's length. And then every once in a while, we slip. When we slip and fall into that, uh, we actually do the Avera, which Pasof, Padar Chlal, Chazal tell us, it's not a good feeling, it's a bad feeling. <laughs> What's the bad feeling? The feeling is, we've just created a sun. That's, that's the, that's the, you know, that's the, Chazal say in Vishnayis, that Ava Tliya Bedavar, Saifa Lispat, Lispat tell them. Like, if it's not Ava Tliya Bedavar, is the Yetzahar, Kaboy, says the Chazal, says the Pirkei Ava, like Abnon and Tamar, Davon Abel's children, he raped her and then immediately hated her and, and tortured her and abused her. This is, this is, a, this is, it's not just like, do you really love me? No, I really hate you. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I've created a son. So what happens when I, when I do an Avera, Maral explains, is I've taken the eight Sahara from out there and I've actually brought it in here. I've created something um, within me. I've created a something. So we're not even talking about a something in the world. That's why I say it's much more personal. We're talking about a something with me. And, and uh, the, the word something, I'm, I'm just, I'm just begging to lose all the Christian connotations you know, of the devil. But understand something which is, which is um, ingested a sort of a spiritual cancer, a toxin within me. Why is it a toxin? Because bad seven. Um, 
uh, you know, any, if anybody here has ever done any kind of an Avera, I mean, you, you'll, you'll feel this, I'm not sure, I, I'm going to speak for myself. <laughs> but, uh, it, the, the, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm a good person, right? I, I, we consider ourselves as good people, we are good people. But why is a good people person do a bad thing? Like what, what, you know, what, how, why did, am I really a good person? Um, and it, it creates a certain stira within us. Am I a faker? <laughs> am I just putting on some kind of a, a show to myself, to even talk to Baruch Hu, certainly to other people? What, uh, am, I, am I really a good person? If I was a good person, why would I, why would I do that when nobody is looking? So that's a good question, by the way. But <laughs> the answer is because it's the eight Sahara. But I, think, I, I gave it to the eight Sahara, so now I have a sudden, and the sudden now is creating a fight within me. One of the, 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 the natural things to do when ingesting the sudden, like, like, in other words, like I, I drank the Drano, like I, I, it's there, it's within me now. So one of, the, one of the natural things to do is to make peace. With the with this with this sudden bifnim, making peace with the sudden bifnim is a uh, probably what the psychologists call cognitive dissonance. The, the uh, dissonance means you know how that works, like in the, in the world of music. Uh, dissonance in the world of music is when when there's a philharmonic, which should, which is all you know the, the greatest masters in the world, and the maestro and the, and the uh, conductor, and one person starts one drop off key. Uh, so now everybody has to pass to. I hear this in Shul almost every shout. <laughs> so, somehow or another, like everybody has to now, so, so you don't have, um, like in order to sort of adjust, everybody has to go in the wrong, in the wrong key in order to make this whole thing work. So um, what, what's good, instead of changing the, 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 you know, the, the person who made the wrong thing, um, which is very difficult to do because <laughs> he's there. Um, it's, 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 there's a dissonance. The cognitive dissonance is such that in order for me to live with myself, um, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to far crew and get my whole brain off key. It's, it, there's, it's not just that I'm rationalizing, which is, we all, we all know that we rationalize. Uh, it's more than that. I've, I've changed myself into a less of a person, really, because of the uh, sudden. I've, I've changed myself into a person that no longer thinks clearly. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not thinking clearly because I have this sudden in, in within me. And the reason I have this sudden within me is because I've done something which violates my sensibilities. So I have to, my, all my sensibilities have to change. And, and, that's, and that's, that's what's going on when the Yitzhahara is ingested inwards, so who yates Sahara, who has something. So uh, this is, this is uh, another thing that takes place. So besides for the actual Avera that I, 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 I ate right, okay. But, uh, you know, I always say, they, they, they say a joke, that the Gemara says that uh, if you see a Tal B'chacham do an Avera, al tahara achra ki vadaya sa tshuva, he definitely did tshuva. So the, the, the joke is that Vada Yasa Chuvi definitely wrote a, uh, a response about this. <laughs> he already wrote a Chuva about it. He's, he's got it all figured out. Don't worry about it. Like the, Vada Yasa Chuva. He already, he, you know, Shiloh's and Chuvas. <laughs> Shiloh's and Chuvas, uh, you know, the, of, of why everything that, that's really wrong is, is right. Quite a, should. Hmm? Should. 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 Yeah. <laughs> There's a famous, beautiful book called uh, Contemporary Halachic Problems. It's written by Rabbi J.D. Bleich. It's a beautiful uh, book of uh, number of values. So, so, so somebody who called me a few, a few weeks ago, actually, he, says he wants to write a book, like, like an, a an answer to the you know, contemporary halachic solutions. <laughs> <laughs> like, like why? You know, the problem is I read the solutions, they're not solutions. <laughs> In other words, the problems are problems. You know, so, who yates a hara? Who has sudden? Says the maral that ultimately the sudden, who is sigucha? The hisigucha it'll get you at the end. At the end, if if it's not it, it'll if not stopped, you know, it is tracked somehow, which is much diff, much more difficult to do once it's ingested. If if the if the poison is not extracted, it will be a malacham abbas. It'll kill me either if if not physically, spiritually, it, it'll kill me. I'll become much so much. Less of a person, key, a dead person. 
Rishoyim b'chayim l'kroy mesa. Everything, I mean, I've had the dubious privilege of meeting people that everything they say is cruel. <laughs> everything. It's, it's um, when, when you make a whole life of unethical decisions, um, and, and, and you're basically an or, immoral person, everything you say is crooked, not because he's not outsiding, because it's going to rationalize everything. everything. Everything is, like, every word that comes out is, 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 is criminal. And so there's, no, there's nothing yashar about the person. But there's tshuva, so uh, there's hope. <laughs> there's, the hope is, is with tshuva. Okay, I'm sorry, Hashem. What does that do exactly? What, what, can, what can the tshuva accomplish? It takes away the chet. But what about the damage that it's done? It, as I say, the damage that it's done within, the damage that it's done bachutz, the damage that it's done on a spiritual level. <laughs> what, happens, what happens with that? I've, done, I've taken care so now the Gemara has a formula which we don't like to talk about so much called Yisurim. Listen to the Lashon of Yisurim. Again, this is for a mature audience here, but Yisurim, the, the, the different pain, and the aches and pains and the tribulations that I go through in life is Memarkin Esavera. That's, that's a strong Lashon, which I'm not even sure. What does it mean, what does it mean to be Memarek? Well, you're a Hebraist. Yeah, polish. polish? I think he was in the or something. The what? In the Machzorim was different as Chos, so he was saying Machok, not Marek. Okay. So Machok means to erase. What's the Marek? What happens when you polish? I feel the that's the right... Uh, well, that's the result, but what's, what are you doing there? Rubbing off the dirt. Oh. It's a, what you're really doing is rubbing off the tarnish. Yeah. It's not like a magical thing when you rub it, you know, uh, out pops, you know. <laughs> GD, like, you know, all of a sudden it looks nice, hey. Eh? <laughs> so the, the shot is that, that there's, there's, there's dirt and, and oxidation and all, things, all kinds of things that accumulate on, on, a, on something which is very valuable, dafka. It's, like it's, a, it's actually interesting that... This doesn't happen on, uh, on, on on fake stuff, and so it's tar- there's a tarnishing of the soul, and now the yisurim come along, yisurim come along in mimarek es uh, It's that that sounds very painful. It's not something any of us want to experience, but I'm just you know just looking at it objectively for something. You can understand the need for it, right? Because what are we talking about? We're talking about you've ingested the Avera. It's there. You've done Shuva for the Avera. So the, the, the Gemara says, in Yuba, the Rambam brings, Shuva Toila V'Yisurim B'chaprim. Yom Kippur Shuva V'Yisurim Toila V'Yom Kippur V'chaprim. These are different Different things. What are you saying, Darren? What's being nimrat here? The 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 shaman is being punished, or the bear itself? Which which one is being punished? So the yisurim got. So the yisurim lahavanasi have very little to do with the avera. The yisurim are taking away the 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 residual damage that the that the avera did. That's to the to the neshama. To the neshama. And that's the purpose of the Yisurim. It just simply cleanses the person out from. So, so let's say theoretically, the, the you know there's some source of uh, dirt which is tarnishing the, which is causing tarnish on, on, on my silver. I don't know what, what does that, but there's some source of it. Uh, take away the source. Uh, I feel bad about the source, but but you you, you have a uh, ugly looking candlestick here. So now the Yisurim come. And our mimaric is on them. So therefore, if that's the, if if that's true, um, we, we don't want you serve. None of us want you serve. We have to be thankful for them. But you have to not. To, well, we have to understand them. But just yeah. they're, they're just. So so we say vidui, which identifies the chet, and then we say va'ata tzadik al So the, you know v'kum tzidik adim. At, at the end of Hashem Nubaganu, at the end of, of Vidu, the Tzidok I did is that this is something I brought up myself, self-called self, meaning, meaning I can 
I can go the painless route, you know. I can go the painless route, but then you end up with a root canal. <laughs> and, and, and if you and if you don't do that, end up without a tooth. You know, there was like, but so there's a certain, you know, avoidance. I'm very familiar with this. That's why. <laughs> there's, there's a certain avoidance of, of, of the Sisurim, but then what, what's happening, the, the, who Yetzahara, who Asam, who Malach is ultimately is going to get you. So there's this Yisurim, so we're, we're Mishmalel, that we shouldn't have Yisurim Kashim, and Akadosh Baruch Hu should figure out maybe some other way of doing this, um, and <coughs> the best thing is not to do Averis to begin with. But, but um, <coughs> The generations before us, where, we, where they weren't as anesthetic as we are and as mafunuki as we were, there, there was an understanding of uh, of Yisur. We, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. That uh, uh, if a tzaddik did, the Gemara says, if a tzaddik didn't have Yisur for forty days, he became he had worried. There must not be an oil of Muhammad. There's no cleansing going on. There's no tarshi going on. So that's that's the Yisur. Um, so the Yisur are dealing with. The the uh, with with the with the residual effect of the avera, and then there's there's cleansed. David Abelach, uh, the way Chazal sees his whole life, went through six months of which we're learning about in Tehillim at night. He went through six months of his life where it was Nitzstare and Parshu Bimenu Asadhedrin, and his his children went against him and. Uh, I mean, what, what, ter- terribly served. Now, he did tshuva, clearly. He did tshuva, and at the end, he was triumphant. But uh, the life is not without, whether we like it or not, life is not without its uh, challenges and without its yisurim. But that's that's the perspective of yisurim. So yisurim, I, I, I think this, that the Rabbi Yonah says, that you have to have kavana for yisurim or they don't work. It's... So the, 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 I think the superficial way of, uh, of understanding it is like, you know, you know, as you're sitting there, you know, the dentist is working on you, I've come on, I've come on, I take away my head. I mean, that's probably also something. But, uh, but I, it probably means something much deeper that, that understand you serve as a process that I'm going through. It's a process that I'm going through to be somehow or another these Yisurim are mimarek the chet, so what's happened is now it's not becoming malach above us. And I can become the, 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 the wonderful, beautiful, uh, shiny uh, person, shiny to Shabbat that, that, uh, that, that I'm meant to be. So there's a lot of processes here um, which are not only about the tshuva itself. The, the, um, so, so what does it mean when Elohim, they don't want the Yisurim, I'm not even more prophets. It sounds like... Like, hey, like, hey, like, hey, Well, we know what it means. <laughs> I don't want the Yisur, but... Uh, right, but the, right. the positive effect the, of the Gemara says, so the Gemara goes out to say that that's talking about Yisur Shalava. So Yisur Shalava is further improvement. Meaning Yisur Shalava is not getting rid of something negative, but it's talking about, like, the person could still become greater. Yeah. It's, uh, so... You know, at some point, you're 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 my holy user. So so let's understand. So again, who you know, let's get let's get the how the sar sair habishtaleach symbolically uh, fits into this. Let's understand how the benam lechaveri symbolically fits into this. So uh, when we're talking about a person who does a chet, it doesn't have to be Elul or Rosh Hashanah Kippur to think about this. A person does something wrong, you want to make sure that it doesn't become part of who I am and what I am, which is its natural derech. If I've done something wrong, a criminal becomes a hardened criminal. criminal. Uh, and, and this is the sod of Avera Gerar Saver. Schar mitzvah mitzvah schar Avera Avera. So schar, you look like you get to do more Averas if you did an Avera, because now that I've got it all figured out, uh, I can do whatever I want. It's okay. I can, I, can go, I can go further with my Averis. But what's really happening is little by little you're killing yourself. Killing your Shabbat and killing yourself. So now, um, that's how Kodesh Baruch Hu's personal intervention. And that's, that's real. Yisurim are a real thing. And that's the Darach of being Makabal Yisurim. Grow from Yisurim. And pray that they should be like Yisurim. 
add, uh, but but just uh, read to you for the Rabak himself. The Russian part of ours says in a different safer. The Ha'ilyan, he writes this in his Pirish of the Avodas Yerba Kippur Tikune Kapara Tikkun Tezvav. So this is the Tikkun Tezvav, the Rabak, the Torah Dvar is the easy safer. <laughs> but, but it's not so easy. There's, there's much there. And he's written volumes, 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 backing up this little Kitzur Shochan Aruch of the Torah Dvar. So let's let you look back a little bit. Ha'ilyan ki ha'avodas shahayanoise ha'sa'ir ha'inu bashkisim the Averis which the Sa'ir carries off the mountain for you, Hainu Mashkisim Hanivraim Ubishtalshalim Bim Kairam Hara. These are Mashkisim which have been created because of my Averis Pirish. Chibum Havera Ba'il Lamala Upaidvim. The Avera itself goes Lamala, or as the Rabbah Baral says, goes Bifni. You can take it in any direction you want. And it creates um, a bashkis. It's created, the person created a bashkis. So Kla Yisrael created Haman. Haman was, was, was a physical manifestation of a bashkis that was created by Kla Yisrael. When? What? When? Which door? The Chorah was created. Le Shedanu Bisudasa Shaloi Sai Rasha. But, but he was, yet he was created, he was a zero from Zman of Shaul. Because Baruch was going to choose somebody that's going to, to, he's going to create somebody from the zero of Amalek. And at some point that was going to come to life. He's going to be there, dormant. Right. Yeah. Maybe others. Lenavi Sudasai Shaloi Sai Rasha means that there was, we had to be shaken up from an assimilation process. Uh, that's the Lenavi Suda. They even ate kosher according to Chazal at that uh, Suda. It wasn't about, it wasn't about uh, an Aver, it was about our whole Das after the Chorum Bayes Rishon became Krum. We became, we became Akum. Uh, our, our thinking wasn't clear. To, to a large extent this is, this is true after the Chorum in Europe also. If you look at, uh, you look at uh, you know, the United States I grew up with, it was everything like Okay, don't be stupid. You have to do this. You know, you have to. I always think about, like, you know, I always think about my father who decided to, decided, you know, that he's not going to keep his uh, store open on Shabbos. Not, not only was he ridiculed, he was abused by, by, by the community. But every, everybody was like, what you, you know, you have to make a living. What are you, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing to your children? Like, you know, he was doing it on I mean, His response, I can remember. I like, yes. Okay, let's go ask the Rav if you think I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> let's ask the Rav if I'm doing it on I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it But there was, there was a certain, there was a certain, um, uh, there's a mentality which is so crooked. And, you know, obviously it was right not only from, like, you know, some, so he has uh, 70, 80, uh, you know, uh, Jewish grandchildren, from grandchildren, you know, and, and the other ones don't have anything, you know. So I mean, there's yes, the, uh, you know, but it's but it's the, I'm trying. I'm just bringing out the, the to battle against the, the the assimilation of a generation is is a very needed a hub on. And, and and whenever that that kind of uh, culture creeps into the Jewish people, whether it's sinas chinam, needed a, needed a a, a tito sarasha. It, it, this is what it needs. <coughs> so we create this mashkis. That's the mashkis. We created the Haman. Ba'ata besoid ha When we say vidui, so that's an acknowledgement that this is, um, this, we did the wrong things. Chayzer v'yardim al roish hasayir. Instead of the the toxin attacking me, the vidui causes it to attack the sayer. So the the the, the kohen is taking. Is it symbolic? Is it real? How's it going? In other words, there's a certain siyata d'shmaya. Let's say to get back on track. 
So certain siyat of the shvarting of Eidah, part of it might be Yisur, but maybe part of it is not Yisur. Maybe part of it is siyat of the Shvarim who helps us as a generation and as individuals to get back on track. Because that's the other part of the generation that we all, or at least I grew up in, uh, that, that somehow or another, you know, always make this point that, you know, there were, there's no, there's no Baal Tshuva movement. There was an assimilation movement. Every once in a while, Klai Yisrael like, goes completely off the derech, and, uh, and then Baruch Hashem comes back out of the derech. You know, but sometimes it's not through easy things that that that, that happens. So you get back out of the derech. That's the Sayer Habish Taleach. Sounds very similar to what the Rambam says about a korban, like the person, the person's high in Yisa, and Hashem and his cousin lets him uh, come back home instead. The Rambam, yes. Right. Okay. And this is what he said early on. He said it's Kodesh Baruch who maintains this chait instead of saying, Gam bin Nezan, for the one who created you. Right. He maintains this chait until the time that you... Toila. 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 The chait is hagi. So there's a number of things that happen. Sometimes, I don't know how, what, when, we have sophisticated stuff here, but um, sometimes the chait doesn't attack. Kodesh Baruch is holding on to it. Sometimes it does attack, and it's even more difficult to eradicate. But Hakadosh Baruch Hu is helping us. Uh, the the the, the siyata deshvai here is to get rid of the chet. Is we get rid of through tshuva. And, but when, and when we say vidui specifically, when we say vidui, we enact a process of cleansing. And the cleansing can take place. That's why we say we're macabre that there's a cleansing process that has to be done over here. But we also know that for sure with Bizman Shabbat Shabbat that the cleansing process was an easier process because of the Sawyer Hamish I don't know what it means. But somehow or another, it's, it's dealing with the, the Bashas. Let's just read the words of the Lord for till till uh, Thursday. <coughs> this is why we did our scriptures. A tabla and hagazuba say Venosa has soyer Allah is called Ava Noisa Valeris Gazero, Upe Rusha, Shas soyer noise avoilois babish Vizekoshamoy. Hard to understand the feast roll, Hatu, Ba soyer noise. The, 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 the Seder at the is that a person says vidui. Vidui is deep, very hard to say vidui, uh, to, to, acknowledge, to acknowledge that I've done something wrong. The moment that one acknowledges that they've done something wrong, you're already going, you're already going the opposite way of the derech of, of the cognitive dissonance that you've created. How, how often do you hear somebody say, I, I, I've done something wrong? Or even on a, 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 a silly argument, how many people say, okay, I'm wrong. People get deeper entrenched, deeper entrenched, deeper entrenched. So vidui, boom, lips it in the pot. I said, vidui, I've, I've stopped that silly process. So in my, in my jet lag, I was having this email argument with somebody at 2.30 in the morning on Thursday night, back and forth for 45 minutes. That, um, uh, I, I was just amazed how a chashev person could be so stupid. <laughs> but it, it, it was, it was, it became to me. I'm not, like, I'm, I'm often uh, not right. In this case, I haven't done, but 100 percent right. He was arguing with something that I had posted for somebody, and uh, you know, his, his fellow's mentor in uh, America. Like when there was like, you know, how could you say this? And I explained to him. I said, but it, but it, it show him Gibar, I could show him Shabur, I could show him logic. I could show you know. He was just getting more and more stupid <laughs> as the emails went on because he couldn't. He just, just like, you know, I, I felt like saying, just take a breath, don't, don't type, take a breath, think. Are you able to say, okay, ta'isi, chatasi, avisi, pashati, no hard feelings, but, but it's, it's, very few people are able to do that. Uh, that I, I myself include, I happen to be right in this case, but uh, it, it's, very few people are able to do that. So, Kalva Chobar. When, when you've really invested in something, you know, and your whole, your whole life is invested in certain decisions that you make, 
It's very, very difficult. So, this is Lekabel Olav Tahara. The Kavana of Vidui is that I want to go the other direction. Kabel Olav Tahara. Kidu Chabar David Harev. Kabsedi Meavoidi. Akarish Baruch Hu is helping Harev. He's Harbin. Harev Kabsedi Meavoidi. I'm being laundered here. I'm being cleansed from my avoidance. That, that's necessary. You can't say that's unnecessary. We're not, it's not, this is not a scoreboard here. This is something which is happening very deep inside of me. V'chein hu amareinu meroik b'racham echo harabim. Meroik. Meroik is very deep, very personal. Eino b'spalo, we're only permitted to daven elo shiyu yisurim kalim. Look, nobody's telling us to do Averis, but if you do an Averis, we're, we're permitted to pray that go easy on me. Like, make, it, make this easy. I want a lot of anesthesia, a lot. <laughs> I gotta, like, make, make, make this not so painful. Shaloi Yebahem, well, Bittal Torah, you're allowed to daven. I can't, you're gonna give me all these you serve, but I'm not gonna be able to learn. And that's why we say, Zeo Shaiber Bavaloya, you day you serve Brahim. Go easy on me. That's okay. That's why I say at the end of my video, And Lishaper means exactly that. Yom Kippur. Lishaper means to cleanse. It's different than Slicha, Mechila, Kapara. Kapara, it's referring to a cleansing process. It's not referring to a forgiveness process. I forgave you, but I have to... Now, now, I, I, you know, I forgive you, Johnny, for playing in the mud, but now you need a, now you need a bath. And it's going to be something you don't like. It's a different, it's a different stage of, the, of development over here. It's a more advanced stage. That's what happens when a person says vidui on his tefillah. Okay, so it's a poem, and we start to get we start to get Bezos Hashem more more uh, positive. But what we need to think about is how this what does this mean in Avera Shemino Blachaveroi when the chet was against me, not against Hashem? Like what well, now? Um, just preview. What now is my obligation as a human being to someone who has sinned against me in the middle of the Chavera level of it? So now, okay, I'm sorry, but there's, a, there's something that needs a miruk there. And we, we, in, this, in this sense, we play God. Huh? I don't have a good one. Later.